Good day, GIS lovers. Welcome to this new section in where we are going to learn about GeoDatabase. In this section, we will learn what is GeoDatabase, purpose of GeoDatabase, use of GeoDatabase, and structure inside GeoDatabase, what types of files or database we have inside our GeoDatabase, and how to create a new GeoDatabase. In this lecture, we will learn what is GeoDatabase, structure inside GeoDatabase, and why we use GeoDatabase. Let's see what is GeoDatabase first. GeoDatabase, which means a large database which contain multiple geographic based information or multiple geographic database inside one large database file. In shortly, we can say a GeoDatabase is an alternate way to store GIS information in one large file which can contain multiple point, polygon, and polyline layers. Now let's see the purpose of GeoDatabase. Why ISRI has been created this GeoDatabase? ISRI is pushing the GeoDatabase idea because it is less messy way of organized data than having multiple shape files in multiple folders. Now let's see the types of GeoDatabase. When we are going to create a GeoDatabase, in that case, we have two types of geodatabase. One is file geodatabase and two personal geodatabase. Now let's see the file extension of geodatabase. The extension of file geodatabase is .gdb and the extension of personal geodatabase is .mdb. In a geodatabase, shape files are referred to as a feature classes. Otherwise, they perform the same function when you add them as layers to your table of content in ArcMap. Now let's see a geodatabase practically. With this lecture, you have a resource file which name is store.gdb as a zip file. Download this to watch this geodatabase in your ArcMap interface. Here we have a geodatabase and this is a file geodatabase because the extension of this file is .gdb. As I already have said, the extension of file geodatabase is .gdb and the extension of personal geodatabase is .mdb. Basically, maximum time we are using this file geodatabase in our arc map. Now, Maybe you have a question, what we have inside this geodatabase and what type of database geodatabase contain? Geodatabase contain multiple database of GIS. It can contain a point feature, line feature, raster layer. It can contain many types of layers in one large file, which is one geodatabase. In this geodatabase, we already can see here we have also point feature layer, raster layer and also polyline feature layer. These layers inside GeoDatabase is known as feature class. As I already have said, although it is feature class, but after adding these layers inside our table of content, we can do our GIS task inside these layers, same as like another shapefile layers. We can edit this feature class, we can edit this point feature, same as like our shapefile. The difference is they are exist inside in one large database which is GeoDatabase. The benefit of GeoDatabase is we can create a package of our all works in one database file rather than having all of this in one folder. So let's see how to add GeoDatabase in our ArcMap. Just simply add data and open the folder in where we have this GeoDatabase. Here is our geodatabase story.gdb. If we double click on it, we can see the feature classes inside this geodatabase. Select all of these. Now click add. See, it has been added inside our table of content. We can edit this layer. We can add the attribute table. We can do all of our those tasks which we can do in our shape files. We have attribute tables. We can add field. We can do everything inside this feature classes, same as like we can do in our shape files. We can edit this also. See? So 
so this is geo database now let's see the folder in where we have this geo database in our folder we can see our geo database like this story.gdb the icon is same as like another folder but it is a geo database file the extension is .gdb as it is a file geo database if we double click we can see the database inside this geo database in here we can't identify the files and database inside this geo database which we can see inside this table of content see inside this geo database we have schools rec sites destination land use raster file elevation raster file but when we are going to open this in a folder we can't see these layers inside here so we can't identify what we have inside this geo database by opening this in our folder to identify the layers inside this geo database definitely we need to use arcmap or arc catalog in here we can see the feature classes inside this geo database now open this geo database in your arcmap and let's have a tour inside this geo database just browse this and see what we have inside this both in arcmap and in your folder in our next lecture we will learn how to create a new geo database Till then, enjoy GIS.